back to my channel in today's video we are going to go over all about my journey with hypothyroid how i found out that i have it what that means for me and how that affects my life because i've been wanting to do more wellness and health content on this channel talk a little bit more about weight body positivity fitness all of that and i realized i had never actually really sat down and told you guys about my hypothyroid and it's one of the biggest contributors and factors when it comes to my general health and wellness i thought this could be helpful for you if you don't know a lot about hypothyroidism about the condition if you have it or you know someone who has hypothyroidism this video could be helpful to you it is a pretty common condition if i remember correctly i at least know two or three other people who have it in my life and it does kind of run in it is a hereditary thing if i remember correctly my grandmother on my dad's side had hypothyroid and my dad had thyroid issues i got thyroid issues as well if that's something that runs in your family it doesn't hurt to go get checked out because i probably had this condition for at least a year without knowing that i had it let's first go over how i found out that i had hypothyroid it is kind of an interesting story it was in the fall of 2016 i can't remember exactly which date um or month it was but i remember because it was the fall semester at school and i had been dating james because he went to the doctor with me and two of my other friends went too i had been sick with a cough for so long and i could not get rid of it and i just it was a bad cough like a really deep cough and i was just so exhausted and tired all the time and I had been having pretty low energy since my senior year of high school, so about two and a half years. Um, and I had been gaining some weight, but we'll get into that later. I had this really bad cough and I decided to go to the urgent care to figure out what was going on because it just had been such a long time. And when I went to the urgent care, as they were checking my lymph nodes, she felt down to my thyroid, which is right here. Um, and she said that my thyroid was really swollen, which you can actually kind of see if you look at my neck. I'm kind of self-conscious about it because my neck looks like really big sometimes, depending on how you look at it. But she's like, your thyroid's really swollen. Have you ever had your thyroid looked into? And I was like, no, I, I don't really know. Like, I didn't know anything about it because I wasn't super close to my dad's side of the family. So I hadn't really heard that they had thyroid issues. I had barely talked to them. Um, my dad passed away when I was six, so I didn't have a lot of contact with them. And they, I didn't know that there were thyroid issues, so I had no idea because no one in my mom's side of the family really struggles with thyroid issues. So I was like, oh, I don't even know what that is, whatever. And she's like, well, your thyroid's just really swollen, so maybe you should make an appointment with the doctor to figure it out. And so that's what I did. I ended up having like some sort of lung infection or something, by the way, but <laughs> that was what was wrong with the coughing. But because of that trip and that doctor at the urgent care telling me that I should go get my thyroid checked out, I did. So I went and got a blood draw. So that's what they do when you have hypothyroid. You have to see how much um, TS, it's not THC. I almost said THC. It's like TSH or something. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but how much TSH is in your system. So basically they test how much of your thyroid hormone is in your blood levels to know like if your thyroid is working properly. And I believe that the hormone that they test for is actually one that you don't want too much of. So if there's a lot of it, that means your body isn't like processing it. So that means that your thyroid is not working fast enough to process these hormones. So there's too many of them in your body, which slows you down. If I'm correct, if I'm totally wrong, this is gonna be embarrassing. But basically what you do is you go on the thyroid medication that helps burn through those things better so i ended up getting tested and i had the levels that said i had hypothyroid so hypothyroid is a low thyroid so that's a thyroid that is not functioning properly that's slowed down and the symptoms of that are low energy you know weight gain anything that goes along with that um hormonal acne mood problems which didn't help my already undiagnosed depression at the time this just like really added to it so all of that to say i found that out and they put me on some medication so what i just take is a synthetic thyroid hormone the synthetic hormone basically is just 
making up for what my body doesn't already do on its own. And the reason that that's important is because you can have more and more issues if you don't address that. So if your hormones aren't keeping up and your thyroid isn't working properly, it literally runs everything. Your thyroid runs your hormones. <laughs> that's what your thyroid does. So if your thyroid isn't working properly, your hormones are all going to be off, which literally messes with everything. So I was having issues with my period. Like I said, my mood, weight, acne, everything was so off. And that was only four years ago now. So for four years, I've been on thyroid medication and slowly but surely figuring out what that means for me. So back to my symptoms. I definitely had low energy, which caused even more depression than I was experiencing. And it honestly made it really difficult my first year and a half of college without knowing what was going on because I would just feel so exhausted, have zero energy, and I was gaining so much weight when the food that I was eating wasn't matching the gait I was, the gait I was waning the weight I was gaining. For instance, I did eat more junk food and eat out more in college, but it wasn't such a significant amount that I should have gained 45 pounds my freshman year, which is what happened. 45 pounds in a nine month period is insane. That is insane to gain that much weight that quickly. But I did, and I, I really got down on myself because I felt like I was just this overweight, pig who just kept eating and couldn't stop eating and that's why she gained so much weight which then added to my depression and made me feel even worse so because of that i would get more depressed and then i would eat more and then it just was a spiraling thing so being able to realize that i had hypothyroid which was definitely contributing to my weight gain of course the food choices were as well but not having your hormones working right and your metabolism is not burning as many calories it is very difficult for someone with hypothyroid to lose weight and it is very easy for them to gain weight. So because of that, I gained a lot of weight my freshman year. I went up, like I said, 45 pounds. And at, from there, I have gained another 40-ish pounds from that point. So overall, since high school, I have gained 80 pounds, just being completely honest <laughs> with where we're at. But I don't feel comfortable saying my weight number because I don't think that's important and for me that is just a really big triggering point is my number and I know that is silly and I understand that and maybe one day I'll share but that is why I would like to get, lose at least 20 pounds this year because I think that's a really good start and if it takes me four years to get back to where I was in high school and I don't even know if where I was in high school is where I want to be but losing some of that weight will feel so good. I would like to just add, um, weight gain is a thing with hypothyroid, but now that I've been on my medication and I've actually been seriously like taking my medication, taking care of myself, working on my mental health, and just general taking care of myself, eating regular meals, drinking more water, being more alert of my health, I have been the same weight for about a year and I haven't really gained I haven't gained anything and I've lost a little bit. I'm actually just so proud of that, that I sustained my weight for a year. And that's my encouragement to you as a hypothyroid person. If you're watching this, you're going to probably gain weight and losing weight for you is gonna be extra hard. So you just have to have the mindset that it's okay if it takes you longer to lose weight or if it takes you a whole year to lose 20 pounds, that's okay because it is harder for you and you have to understand that you are just doing the best with your body. And I would love to lose weight because I want to feel better because I know if I lose weight, I'm going to have more energy. I'm going to help my thyroid run better. I'm going to help my joints and my bones be stronger and I'm just going to feel better. And that's what I want. So that's my backstory with hypothyroid, how I found out I have it and what it means for me. Uh, like I said, I don't know a ton about it because I've really just in the last year been actually taking it seriously, researching the best kind of foods for that, foods to avoid, which I didn't realize there were, um, some natural things you can do to kind of help supplement your thyroid and such. So that's been really, really good for me. And I know this video probably didn't have a ton of helpful tips for you, but I basically just wanted to start off by sharing my story because that way you guys have a foundation when I talk about, you know, losing weight and hypothyroid and health and wellness. You guys kind of know where I'm coming from and that I understand the struggle. And I just want you to know that if you stick around here on this channel, we're going to be body positive. We're going to encourage each other to be our best selves and to get healthier for ourselves, not for anyone else. 
and we're going to also learn to enjoy our body and love our body for where it's at at this current moment wear the outfits you want to wear rock the fashion style that you think you can't rock because you're not a size two but you can rock it and be confident i just want you all to know that you're beautiful just the way you are and it's okay if weight has been a struggle for you and it is basically a struggle for every human being on the planet whether you know that or not but i hope you guys enjoy there will be very many more health and wellness and hypothyroid weight loss content on this channel as well as we always have lifestyle design and home content of course so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video why don't you go ahead and subscribe and help me hit my 1000 subscriber goal for 2021 and i would just love to make new friends on here so leave me a comment let me know how you're doing today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.